In this video, I am going to teach you how to do arcs. You're gonna use your top pattern for this, and uh, as you can see on this top pattern, I have some arcs drawn. You're gonna fasten this on to the top of your CO2 blank, so you can cut your arcs. Watch these next clips to learn how. Here is a recap of what's happened on my car. As you remember, I have cut off the top of it. Save this in case I make a mistake. I cut out a section from the bottom, as well as back in here. Now I want to focus entirely on this top area. There's still a lot of weight that can be removed from this CO2 car, and the way that I plan on doing it on this particular design is by cutting arcs out of some of this middle section. A lot of kids are gonna to say to themselves, well, Mr. Lemoyne, if you see I uh, have an issue with my pattern, and really you don't. What you need to do is just kind of think uh, clearly about uh, what it is you're trying to do and do a little problem solving. So I actually tell kids, let's think about what is it you're gonna actually cut. And the answer is you're gonna cut an arc here, and you're gonna cut an arc here. The rest of this pattern back in here really doesn't serve a whole lot of function. So I'm gonna just get rid of part of it. In fact, I'm just gonna take a scissor, and I'm gonna shorten this thing up and just focus on the area of the pattern where I'm actually gonna make some cuts. So I'm gonna get rid of some of this as well. Now I'm focused exclusively on the area that uh, I will cut. So then as I look at it, I notice that I have a landmark. This is a hidden line and that hidden line is showing me where that axle hole is from the top. So what I like to do is I like to take that and get that axle hole to line up approximately right above that area, and that is where I'm gonna glue. I also have another landmark here where my arc is, and you'll notice it comes out, and oh, hey, there's the line. Line up these key features on your drawing, and then glue this thing down. So your next stop is over to the scroll saw. Be sure you wait two minutes for that glue to dry and then you're ready to cut. Couple of little tips for you. Things are gonna go a little different with the hold down foot, so make sure you watch closely on these next scenes. So the issue that you're gonna have, and to be fair, it's not really an issue, but it's a question about this piece here, the hold down foot. Where do we adjust it to? Typically I say put it right above the height of your CO2 car and go ahead and cut. The problem is, is as we start to cut, eventually we're gonna run into our power plant housing. So what I personally like to do is I like to adjust this hold down foot up to the highest point of my car and then adjust it to that level. That way I'm able to cut all the way through and I will always be able to pass my car through. One issue with this, the hold down foot isn't preventing this from jumping when you first start cutting. So for that, we need to go fingers on top as we're cutting and you need to apply downward pressure on this thing. So that's what I'm gonna do in this next cut. So there you have it everybody. I have now cut out arcs on the top view of my CO2 car. Be sure you stay tuned because in the next sequence of videos, I'm gonna show you how to make a car go from this to an absolutely stunning looking car. Thank you for watching as always. If you've appreciated this video, be sure and hit like and subscribe.